Long time no see, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more videos. And today I'm going to be doing a very, bit of a different video today. So E3 has concluded with their press conferences and their showcase, or not their showcases, their announcements, I should say. And now they're moving on to their showcases for the different games that are going to be coming out throughout the year or next year or what they're going to be working on. So there's a specific game that I am super, super interested in and I've been keeping my eye on ever since its reveal. All right. There's actually two games that I have been keeping my eye on, one of them being Code Vein. And I've already expressed my feelings about how cool Code Vein is and how I'm going to be playing it. But the second game that I've been keeping my eye out is, is Astral Chain. Astral Chain is going to be, I think, coming out for the Switch, and it's made by Platinum Games, which is a really cool developer that I, I like a lot, and it's going to be a very interesting premise to the game, and they revealed a trailer last year, I cannot remember uh, when, I don't know if it was during the Game Awards or if it was during E3, however, they showed off another trailer at E3, and it was even more captivating than the first time that I've watched it. So I am very, very interested and I really want to see some of the gameplay that they had to offer here at the Nintendo Treehouse. So I'm going to be watching this at the Nintendo Treehouse. This is the live stream going on currently right now. So we're watching this live and I kind of want to just go over the gameplay and see what I see and uh, the different things that they have to show off. And I want to give my thoughts on them and kind of analyze everything that's going on as well. So maybe I'll be pausing here and there just to see, get a little bit of a better glimpse a more detailed glimpse as to what's going on on screen and i'll just continue watching it until you know we get we reach the end of it i'll get my conclusions and see if i really really seriously want to play it all right so wow this game actually looks a lot better than i thought i mean the modeling looks a little bit weird but that's all right. It's such a huge game and it's coming out for the Switch that they have to kind of tone down some of the details. I'm pretty sure that's why they went with the cell shading type of art design to it because it looks a lot better than I thought, I initially thought. Uh, I thought it was going to be looking a lot like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I did play that and it reminded me a lot of it when I watched the trailers. But looking like at the gameplay in particular itself, it looks a lot better than Xenoblade 2, actually, uh, with just a lot more NPCs, a little bit more of a less detail on the face and then more just uh, not animation, but let's say like more polish, more cleanliness and such. So they're going with that type of design, which I don't mind at all, actually, as long as it uh, has some cool particle effects, uh, some cool um cool uh, gameplay animations and such that'd be pretty sweet but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just minding his business all right so we have dialogue trees as well which is nice okay so uh, well this one in particular showing off just either the dialogue tree for uh, just basically accept or reject type of dialogue tree i don't know if there's going to be more than that all right so they're actually doing a mission i guess so you can accept side missions just like every other open world game I'm glad that this is going to be more of an open world in a city landscape. I like that. I actually really, really do like that. I hope you can like scale walls and go different directions uh, that you want. Uh, there's the actual, I don't know what this is called, but it's basically a stand. Oh, uh -huh. So yeah, it's basically you get to uh, be able to capture specific okay. monsters. Uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't know if they're called astrals or if they're called like uh, it's basically like a stand that you get to capture. I don't know if that is particular to you can capture any one of the stands or if it's like you can capture any stand that you see if you want or if it's like more story driven where like, okay, this is your stand. This is who you have for the rest of the game or if you can kind of customize them or change them out like similar to personas. So not sure. I'm guessing it's going to be more of a story driven. So there's going to be one stand. I'm going to be calling it stand for now on because I right now I'm not necessarily listening to the commentators and I'm just speaking over them. And so I'm not sure what their names are. So I'm just going to be calling them stands. And I'll probably be calling them stands even after I realize what the name of the actual beings are. But like these things, you, you see that this right, this one right here, I'm pretty sure you can capture this one. But I'm not sure. But it's very interesting gameplay because you can do, you can like use your stand while you're fighting. 
and stuff. And it's like connected to a chain. It's pretty visually pretty cool, man. It's visually nice. Yeah, a lot of cinematics, a lot of animation. I think it looks badass, man. This is looking really nice. A lot of really cool like attacks from coming from the stand as well. Seems like it connects to the enemy as well. Okay, so he's binded. I wonder if he's trying to capture him or if he's just finishing him off. Yeah, he's just finishing him off. Okay. This is more of a challenge quest they mentioned. They mentioned it was more of a challenge quest, which is cool. So it seems like you can take out your stand at any time, go to a specific area, and collect these, I don't know what that red aura was, but collect those and then summon another, like a challenge, or summon a portal of some kind, or a gate, I should say. But let me hear the, uh, the developer. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, in terms of how you can finish off the enemies, you can actually decide whether or not you want to restore more health, or if you want to just get more currency maybe, or more experience. So that's pretty cool that you get to have the decision, depending on which finisher you use to finish off the enemy, to actually get different benefits. You know, like experience, money, health. Maybe more power-ups. I don't know what else uh, other options are out there, but that sort of thing. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. So, like, the game literally just <laughs> rewards you for picking up garbage from the city. That's hilarious. It's promoting actual, like, littering. Like, don't litter, and if you do see a piece of garbage, pick it up, throw it away. That is hilarious. I've never seen that in a game before, where it kind of promotes picking up garbage. That is actually really funny. All right, good stuff. Hey, pick up garbage if you guys see it on the floor. You might get rewarded. Karma, man, karma. And I'm guessing here he's hacking. Look at all that reward that you just got for throwing away like four cans of stuff. That's so cool. And you can move around as your stand, but you you stay still while your stand moves around and picks up these, uh, these I don't know what they are, but... It's definitely something that only your stand can pick up. Okay, so that's what that means. So the red matter, or the, the it's called red matter, uh, the thing that the stand is picking up, as I was mentioning earlier. So the red matter is something that's lore-wise, it's very bad for civilians and such. So they're not picking up anything. All right, that's actually really cool. So they can't pick up anything. Only the stands can, and they can actually make use of that for other different purposes and stuff, which is really cool, man. So far, I'm really liking how they're taking the direction to uh, like this game in particular, how they're tying it into lore, how like stands. Can he even see the stand? Can people see him? That was pretty cool that he like stood still. He captured the enemy by just having the stand like circle around them and actually like tie them up with their with the chain, which is pretty interesting, actually. I'm really liking how open world this game is right now. And there's a lot of stuff you can do on the side and a lot of side missions right now. Like he just picked up a side mission where he has to like deliver a person or if he has to find a specific person and you get rewarded with those type of things. Just for small little side missions alongside your main mission. And who knows, uh, this could probably fill up your progress bar and your experience points. It's really freaking awesome, man. I'm really enjoying how this game is playing out so far and how open world is it. I just can't stress enough how much I like uh, like linear, but like also open world, like having both options, having the linear portion of things and having the non-linear portion of things. And I really, really enjoy that. I'm liking this a lot more than anything I've seen on the Switch so far. Uh, I've played games like Night of the Azure, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and other anime type of games on the Switch that are good, but they have always been missing some sort of polish, some sort of finesse that I, something that to, can captivate me. And so far, this is really captivating me. The, the world is interesting enough for me to actually get invested in the story. Because uh, it seems like this, these are all like police officers and they're kind of trying to defend against like an alien type of invasion and they figured out a way to kind of harness a power to fight them and while also like having cool side missions and who knows I don't know if this is a creative character I don't know if I, I, I listened enough uh, it's like if this is like a creative character if this is the actual end protagonist but I'm pretty sure there's like a creative character and such um, and then he's going into the portal right now this is the only way you can enter that portal is with your stand, which is pretty cool. And then, 
dive into the astral plane. Um, something that's really cool. And you're gonna see okay, so instead, so before when we saw the, the, the when we went into the astral plane, so there's a different dimension called the astral plane. And I'm guessing that's where you go to, like, do different things such as fight enemies, discover other, uh, like, missions and such. Oh, this is kind of cool. That's like a FPS type of thing. His stand changed, too. His stand is more of a, like, a floating, non, uh, non-physical type. Well, like, he changed his design. I don't know if that, that changes with him going into the astral plane or if that's, a, like, a different one. I feel like that's the same one. Okay, so that's it says arrow, so I'm guessing that's more of a long-range stand. So I'm wondering if you can use multiple stands. I like the FPS section of the Persona. I'm guessing there's more platforming in this game than any other. Man, there's a lot more platforming in this game than I thought. A lot of movements. A lot of different things like that. Interesting. So I'm guessing these are like the dungeons of the game, or this can be the dungeons of the game. I hope that it's consisting more of this. And one of the concerns I do have is that the game will be basically consisting of just these missions. And I really hope that they can do like really cool main story missions. So, okay, so yeah, so there's different variations to your stand or legion. Are they called legions? Right I'm pretty sure so you can have different action, legions uh, or stands per se. So what I'm gonna do is press a. Ah, so you can contribute your points right. to that skill. That. I like that. So you got a pretty I'm decent there, skill tree so there not only for each stand ability, that you have. So you have a sword based stand and you have an arrow based so stand cool or bow and arrow based stand. So that is pretty badass. Yeah, I like that. And they're called gene codes. Gene codes are the currency. X or Y. I'm gonna keep what I have. Wow. I really like using round sword and hit rush because it does some really fast. Round sword. Hey, hey, Gucci belt, Virgil Gucci belt. I like that. Yeah, and it kind of shows you the little display as to what the skill is on the top right. Oh, I like that. A lot of interesting gameplay mechanics that we've seen before, but when put in this context, it's kind of cool. Of course, yeah, the skill tree is nothing new. I mean, we've seen it before, but uh, I actually really like it. Oh, my God. So that can be more of like a that, that that's cool. You can use the actual chain as a physical. It's a it has a physical hitbox. So you can kind of like capture bind or even just like retract. So they try to go through it. You can just like push them back with the actual chain itself. That's badass, man. Okay, so he has to fill that whole percentage bar up yeah the astral plane seems like a weird place I don't know if I like the astral plane I wish it was a little bit more or less you know I don't know it's kind of weird looking it's not necessarily my favorite design for an astral plane uh, you know the background is a little you know super bland but I'm, I'm hoping this is just for like missions and such so this might be like just a side mission I really hope that there's bigger missions store more than likely story driven that have a little bit more you know just like makes the astral plane not as bland looking i was about to say hopefully there's like mobi nice there's one right there man they answered my question i would like a lot of mobility options one of the things other than run because i like when i can move my character in interesting ways so it seems like you can actually like can like send out your your stand and you can kind of like pull yourself into where the stand's location is which is really really cool and i saw this entry was that i think it was a parry that looked like a parry shoot it you got it yes things like this that i really really like in the slow mode is there's dead eye <laughs> can't believe there's dead eye in this game huh dead eye there it is. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Cool. And this is Jenna. This is the objective. I'm wondering if this is story driven. Look at all the cutscenes that you're doing, and it seems like she is a important character. God damn, she's ugly though. But as you progress later in the game. There's actually a rival character that oh, you got some pretty cool aerial combat there. You can get dizzy yourself. I like that aerial combat. Did you see that? They got some pretty nice moves. Woo, a lot of shaky cam, a lot of animation and stuff, a lot of cinematics. That seems to be like the finishing move. And that's where you can determine whether or not you can you do it for health, 
you can do it for experience or what, what whatever. One thing that I I am concerned with, I hope that the game is not considered is not consisted of just straight up horde modes all the time. You know what I mean? Horde modes, like horde horde stages, are aren't like they're not terrible. But I hope that the whole game doesn't consist of just basically taking down a crap ton of enemies. And to be honest, if the gameplay is fun enough, then I can 100% like get on board with it. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully, there's some interesting, like unique, variating gameplay for. For there to be, if there is lots of horde modes, like, I like that a lot. I like how they use the chain to pull themselves up and continue on with a combo. Okay, so yeah, the, the Legion is definitely not unlimited. It is definitely limited. So, it's similar to, like, magic points or, you know, just mana points or whatever the hell you want to call them. And uh, there's different things that can re restore your entire, you know, meter so you can use more of your Legion. <laughs> which is uh, which is good. What an interesting. This looks really weird, man. Just this freaking stand just following you with a chain wrapped around his neck. He's put him away, dude. It's kind of weird looking. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. That was really cool, man. That was really cool. Ooh, this is another. Yeah, this is another game mode altogether. Wow, this looks very much different. Everything's looking great. That's another stand or variation of a stand. A new character as well. Different gameplay aspects. An evade button. Ooh, oh my god, you got beasts. Holy crap, yes, I'm liking this. Yeah, the game, this, this build is definitely much, much better. This build is definitely a lot more experienced and also has just has more more things about it like you as you can see on oh, this boss fight is definitely a lot harder too as you can see the look at the health bar the health bar is 100 percent like being a lot more active than the previous build i like the defensive right there a little bit of difficulty with the boss fight i like that defeat jenna so this is jenna i knew she was going to be very important to the story. So yeah, a lot more things have been leveled up. I love the chain. I love anything with a grappling hook or a chain. It's great. The evade button. I like that. You can dodge roll. Do all sorts of stuff. And then the legion starts to beat up on the enemy. Jenna Anderson. The beast. I like that for mobility purposes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Like I said, interesting ways to incorporate... Gameplay and such, or uh, movement with gameplay. I mean, that's what I meant to say. Incorporate movement with gameplay. That's really good. So it seems like it's a. They have a fisticuff legion. They have a sword legion. They have a arrow legion, a beast legion, and an axe legion. And this, I'm guessing, the axe is more for damage. Just a ton of damage. Yeah, I'm guessing this is like the the heaviest, heavy hitting one. Because the axe, I mean, like if you have an axe, that you're, it's going to be like like damaging. You know what I'm saying? All right, this this portion of the actual the the treehouse uh, showcase for this game is definitely a lot more interesting to me. Because not only does it show off a cool boss oh, yeah. that is challenging, it looks like, yeah, but a lot of variating gameplay as well that you can use in whatever yeah, way you go. seek fit. Oh, you just mentioned parrying as well. Parrying is in the game. 72. Oh, man, he's got he's to gotta revive himself. Oh, he died! <laughs> he died! No! But what? But from here, I'm going to... Come back and uh, be stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> so you can actually you what? Holy crap! So that's pretty easy mode. That's the case. I wonder if you have depending if that's a skill, if that's an item, or if that's something you get built into the game. The whole the the retry thing. Whoa, 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 whoa! You got all sorts of. I'm getting my wish. I said earlier, it's like, man, I hope we get some cool boss fights. This looks like a badass boss fight, man. Holy crap. We got like 1v1s with smaller enemies that are your size, and then we got behemoth enemy types. Actually, does that thing have a health bar? Is that even a boss? I'm wondering if this is like one of those bosses that you just have in the background. Oh, yeah, this has to be a boss. 100%, this has to be a boss. 
Okay. Just beat it up. Oh, there it is, right here. The homunculus. There's the health bar. Guess you had to beat it up, on, beat up on it a little bit. Woo! I wonder, man, are those like perfectly timed dodges? Those, that's what those might be, actually. Which is cool. I really, really like it when they reward you for perfectly timing dodges, perfectly blocking, and uh, perfectly parrying. So, I like that a lot. We'll see what happens. So far, these, there's, man, these, this gameplay is super fun. I really want to play this game. I'm excited for this game. A lot of cool games, man. You have to get your legion, wrap it around, destroy it that way. I like the whole chain aspect of the, of the, uh, of the, of the gameplay. Holy crap, man. This is going in. They're just going in. All right, you knock it down. You get to do some damage. Yeah, so it's, you can have two legions going on at the same time. What the what? I didn't know you could do that. You can have two stands up. Uh, Freaking astral plane can be ridiculous. Again, the battlefield has just transformed yeah, so this this astral plane looks really cool. It's got buildings in the background. It's definitely a lot cooler. Yeah, that's pretty great, man. The mobility options, cool. And then using them in boss fights to try and catch up and get get some damage on your on your boss. I love that. Shield perfectly shielded at that moment. That was sick. There's a lot of cool things about this game. I'm really liking it. And he binded his arm right over there. So I think he has to bind both arms. Oh, he's trying to get that wrap. He got the wrap. So you got it. Arms are chained down now, so just gonna That's a cool aspect of it. You can go about two ways. You can bind him down. Or you can just straight up maul him and just, just do uh, everything there. That's really cool, man. Like seriously. Yeah, he's gonna do some bonus damage here too, man. Look at that. Get that critical hit damage. Hell yeah. Nice shots. And get as many so much, much damage as possible all right so after all that some of the closing remarks that i have some of the closing thoughts now that i'm seeing the actual gameplay at hand one of the things that were was really bugging me in terms of the gameplay was in was like if there's going to be variation from what little we've seen of the game it didn't look like there was going to be much variation but then came down to the boss fights and the actual one of the developers was playing uh, and he was showing off some crazy stuff. So literally this game is going to be not only not for the it, it, Well, this game is definitely going to be very very uh, Interesting to play. It's gonna have intricate gameplay controlling. It's basically puppet character of the game So it's similar to how you play with characters like Carl Relius from blaze blue or Playing with a persona character even because you're controlling two characters. You're controlling the astral or the legion I'm sorry and then you're controlling your character and seeing what they're doing and then you have to keep in mind of two things at the same time it's freaking awesome and then apparently because this can be a little bit uh challenging at times you can actually they have accessibility to for players that don't really uh like are, are having a, a tough time playing this the astral chain they have a special mode for those for accessibility purposes so wow the actual gameplay is cool i think the game concept is sick as well the open world aspect is really fun the gameplay looks incredibly fun the more you know, the more legions you play or the more legions you unlock the better the gameplay will be and it looks like the boss fights are actually going to be really fun i hope there's more than that uh, in terms of like boss variety type and i really hope that the characters are interesting the story is captivating and the lore of it will actually keep me interested throughout the entirety of this game so astral chain really has a uh, thumbs up to me so the two games i've been keeping my eye out i really haven't been disappointed so far so i'm really really excited to play astral chain and to play code vein in the future so keep an eye out for those games guys uh, buy them and if you need to uh know when they're going to be coming out you can look them up i can't remember when astral i think astral chain is coming out on the 30th of August or July? Oh, I think it's August. And then Code Vein's coming out in September. So I'm definitely going to be playing those games. I'm freaking hella excited to play those games. I'm so excited to play uh, games that aren't necessarily fighting games, but that can play like fighting games. So, thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me what you guys think of Astral Chain in the comment section down below. Like the video if you guys did. 
I'll subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And also follow me on Twitter if you guys have any questions on me or the channel. Now that I've given you the YouTube spiel, I can sign out. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good day.